Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build. My vehicle today is the Lamborghini Countach. Uh, yes, we're going to take a classic, fairly scary Lamborghini uh, onto the rally cars. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, it's another car that I think could go quite quickly. I do think this could be quite a quick car. I know it can have some huge rear tyres, which is going to come in useful when it comes to the, the upgrading. It starts off towards hey, the bottom of A class, which means I have plenty of room for upgrades to get this up into S1. As per the normal normal rules for this series, the car must be four-wheel drive, and that hasn't added on as much PI as I thought it might. Okay. We're going to have it as a four-wheel drive. Now, the Lamborghini is heavier, shall we say, than the uh, <laughs> AC or the Shelby Cobra we had last time out. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that it might still be quite good because it's going to be a powerful car. Other restrictions, we must have the Storm Island rally tyres. That shot the PI up. We must have the gearbox, so we have some nice short gear ratios. Uh, the rally course we're driving on is not exactly long, so short gear ratios are a good thing. And we've got to have the rally suspension, which is going to raise the... It's not got a huge amount of ground clearance, but it's going to have to be enough. Right, other parts are up to me, but brakes are going on first. And then weight reduction is also going on. Uh, 2,800 pounds. It's going to be a bit of a heavier vehicle. The other things that we most definitely want to get are tyre widths. Rear tyre widths. Three five fives on the rear. They're even bigger than the Cobras. And uh, we're going to have some huge tyres on this car. Handling is probably... Uh, they're not that big of tyres on the front, though. Uh, but handling is my concern with the, with the Lamborghini. Because these weren't the they weren't notorious for being the easiest cars to drive, shall we say? So yeah, got a, got some slight concerns on the handling, and it's not quite as light as I would really like it to be. Uh, what can we do? Engine swaps, I think, is going to be the V12, which is well, it is lighter. It puts it up into S2, so we can't have that. Uh, aspiration, we could twin turbo it, or we could supercharge it. Hmm, I'm not sure we actually want these necessarily. We'll come back. Possibly to have a look at them uh, once we've done the rest of the stuff. Are we going to want aero bits on the Lamborghini? Uh, we might do because, as I said, handling is the uh, is the concern. Power isn't a concern here. I'm sure we can get more than enough power out of the car. It's the handling, the handling that is a concern with this. So I'm going to go for aero on the Countach uh, tyres that are done. Shall we get lightness? Yes, I want. I'll have that on there. We may end up having to come back and change that if we're sort of one pi here or there that uh, needs doing. I think we're going to get some decent power though out of the Countach. We will go for uh, front and rear race anti roll bars, and we will go for. Do I want a roll cage? It does make it heavier. Uh, this will stiffen up the chassis, but I'm thinking the Countach probably has an okay chassis to begin with. I'm not going for the roll cage. I'm going to keep the roll cage out, try to keep a bit of weight down. And I think we should be good enough handling to not require it. Right, on to the engine. Now, these parts here should be taking out some of the weight as well. It's whether we... Oh, we should get enough power out of the standard engine uh, to, uh, yeah, to not worry. I think these... Mm, we, we, should, well, we should certainly be getting up towards the five, six hundred horsepower mark. Uh, while keeping it within S1 class, I'm expecting. This is only adding on piddly amounts of power from, <laughs> from this stuff. It is taking off weight, but it is only adding piddly power. Uh, there we go, 547 horsepower now. I think we're going to keep this one naturally aspirated, if I can get it to the top of S1 class. Uh, come on, there we go, game. Well done. You realise what I wanted you to do. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're still we're still creeping up towards 600 horsepower in this car. It's not too shabby from the from the Countach, and how much are you going to add on? You're not going to add on very much. Hmm, okay, I think we may have to go for a, <laughs> we're going to go for, let's go for a supercharger. Okay, we're past the 600 horsepower mark, but uh, it is a li little bit heavier, but I'll go with the supercharger, I think. Uh, now, if I add, can I, I can't add any more on there. Uh, what I might do is add that on, because that I think makes the supercharger lighter and then take off some of these bits. Okay, <laughs> here we go back down here. I may keep them 
Uh, oh, he's already taking off little bloody... He's a pain in the ass car to build. Uh, oh, okay, right, plan. We're going back down to there, and then we'll take off the drive line bit. There we go, and that should now have it as... Uh, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> bloody car. <laughs> Start. It's always the way. It's always the way. Now, if I go... If I do that, and then I do... Uh, I will... Oh, no, I don't want that. I will balance it eventually. I should put the supercharger on first. And then, there we go. Right. Oh, now we've got that part on there. Can we... I guess if we can't sneak another... Oh, we could sneak another. We could sneak a clutch on. Can we sneak a flywheel on? That'd be unlikely, but maybe. Nope. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Uh, we could sneak on an intercooler, add 9 horsepower, but add quite a lot of weight. I don't even think that weight... I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. Uh, I'm guessing we may do the same thing here. Three horsepower, and you know what? I think I'm going to keep it as it is. 610 horsepower, 430, 39 torques. Not as much torque as the Cobra, but it is more powerful by quite a bit. Uh, it is heavier, though. 2,800 pounds, but it has got some of the biggest tyres we've seen in this series so far. They are huge rear tyres on the Kuntash. Uh, I shouldn't have a problem. We could have a problem with understeer, to be honest, with the size difference between them rear tyres and the front tyres on here. There is a potential for the uh, for the Kuntash to be understeering. Right. Anyway, we shall back out of here and we shall go and uh, test the car uh, if we can uh, eventually get there through all the menus. Uh, we will be going to. Uh, it's gone tonight. Uh, we will be going to our normal test track, the Forest Broad Circuit, where I have five laps to set as fast a lap time as possible. The current leader, the Shelby Cobra, sits at the top with a 59.647. TVR Sagaris in second with a 1 minute 0.178. And a Mazda MX-5 in third with a 1 minute 0.299. The Kuntash, I think, could be quite quick. It may not quite challenge them top three. But I certainly think that this could be quite a quick car. With, uh, with some decent power and some huge rear tyres. Look, my concern is, now slight, is, is still handling. Uh, with this car, we certainly have the power uh, for for this sort of thing. 610 is, is quite a lot for a for a sports car. Uh, it's got quite quite decent grip. Little bit of a slide on the uh, on the exit there. Um, yeah, this is not this is not doing too badly. We don't have the understeer that I feared. I think it is a tad more tail happy. Yeah, if I push it through there, it's just wanting to step out. Oh, that's a big jump. Again, push it through here. The back end is just thinking. Same, it's a little bit similar to the MX-5, actually, in the way that it's dealing with them corners. It's just... Oh, the back end is just wanting to oh, almost get ready to slide. That was quite a fortunate bump across there. <laughs> that bump did help us, right? Slow the Kuntash down. Get it turned in again. These huge rear tyres are, I have no doubt, helping an awful lot <laughs> in this car. But uh, we haven't got the understeer that I thought we could do. Oh! Okay, we're okay. I thought that was going to go scrape the floor with the nose of the car, but uh, it's actually not too bad. Gear ratios are... Uh, gee, that is a stupid fast lap. Straight line speed, 140 miles an hour before the bump. That's quick. This is a very fast car in a straight line. And get it turned in and carry the speed through the turn and then keep the foot down. Oh, maybe not quite all the way down there. Uh, <laughs> as we're going towards a wall and then we get a bit of a slide. That is, that is an incredibly fast opening lap from the Kuntash. Uh, can we keep it together? We can keep it together. I've changed up into... Whoa. Okay. Didn't quite like the... Uh, <laughs> didn't quite like the landing there. Aside from that, though, this car is doing pretty well. I don't think it quite... It doesn't feel like it quite has the same grip that the Cobra has, but it is a quicker accelerating car. Uh, and turn. Go. Boot it out the other side. Yeah, it's, it's got the acceleration. Just that little bit more, but I'm surprised it's got much better acceleration and straight line speed than the Cobra, considering this is quite a, it's 400 pounds heavier than the Shelby. But uh, this is one of the quickest cars we've had. Uh, I mean, we're up to, I didn't, I didn't quite get as good a run down there, but it'll do 140 down the straight. That's the, some of the fastest cars we've seen in a straight line doing that. And this has this, just about the speed through the corners. That's playing it risky with the trees there. That was uh, not quite what I wanted. Really wanted to be doing up, oh, change down one too many gears. Okay, this lap is not going to be the best lap ever. Ooh, it's taking. Oh, we cracked the windscreen again. There we go. That was better. 
through that turn. Bottom of the course, again, clonking on the ground. I'm not sure it quite likes the bumps that much, the uh, <laughs> the big Lambo. It's not a huge fan of them. Oh, ah, I hate that jump there. It's just bouncing the front of the car up into the air. Oh, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Punch out the other side. And then we're going to run towards the line. We are on for a quick lap. I don't think we're going to be on for a Cobra beating one yet. But uh, <laughs> as unlikely as it is, we could well see a Kuntash go towards the very top of the table. A 50... A <laughs> 59.620 on the third fly lap at about break myself. It's gone very close to the Shelby. Okay, we may have another, another, another change. The Shelby is, um, yeah, not going to be happy with that if it's uh, <laughs> if it goes top after the TVRs reign supreme for ages and then this beats it straight off the bat. Uh, in fact, yeah, it is quicker than the uh, the Shelby. What on earth am I talking about? It's point point zero two of a second quicker. The <laughs> Oh dear, Kuntash is very fast again. It's these huge, great big tyres, I think, that are certainly helping matters uh, with these cars. And 355s on the rear are just gigantic, and it means, well, oh, I've done exactly the same thing I did with the Cobra. Uh, <laughs> it has so much grip, and because the back end just doesn't slide around, uh, you, can, you can take a lot more speed through the turns than you can with some other cars. And uh, then, right, we've got one lap. Can we go even quicker? I think it could, to be honest. That fast lap was not the uh, not the best one that I did. And across the jump, bonk the landing. Go, go on, Kuntash. You can, you can do. We can do better on this final lap, I think. Now make sure 142 miles an hour into the first corner, and we still get stopped and get out the other side. That's incredible straight line speed and brakes and then grip from the uh, Lamborghini. That really is quite impressive uh, from this car. A uh, bit of a slide, a slight brush on the wall this time round. But uh, I think we can get away with that. Keep foot down through there. Lost a little bit of momentum across there. Now, be brave down here. I mean, it's even easier to aim this car down here than it was in the Cobra. Now, I'm having a bit of a dab on the brakes uh, earlier into there. See if I can get a better exit out. We are a little bit on the uh, slightly wide side across there, running towards the trees, trying to put the power down as soon as possible, but it has worked. It was uh, <laughs> a little close to the uh, tree line there. I don't want to do that one again. Cross the big jumps. Uh, more air time. Get the wheels on the ground so we can power towards the line. <laughs> Bloody hell, that is a fast time. The Kuntash goes even quicker. <laughs> 59 298. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the Lamborghini Kuntash goes to the top of the table. Uh, I, I said the Shelby Cobra may sit there for a while. I was completely and utterly wrong. The Kuntash has gone and beaten it with an even quicker lap time. This is a very unlikely top of a rally leaderboard we have going on here. Lamborghini Kuntash, uh, a classic, very wide, traditionally hard to drive Italian supercar. Shelby Cobra, and uh, then T TVR Sagaris. This is not the top three you expect from uh, from rally cars but uh, there you go that is a ridiculous lap time from from the Kuntash again I don't think this one's going to be beaten for a while but I was wrong last time so who knows well there we go that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye